Hi and welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be trying to do some more short form content. Short form guide content and today we're going to be going over how to play the Byzantines aggressive, right? Um, so in this guide, it's it's going to be primarily a 1TC Byzantine aggress aggression guide, but there are, there are a couple of variations of it. But the, the main idea just revolves around going 1TC here. So, I'm not going to go over builds exactly because I like to talk more about the, the analytical aspects of the game. Or the theory, I guess. But I start off with one farm to save food, save cheap gathering as well as gathering all the way here. All you need to do is chop 10 wood for that. So the thought process behind playing Byzantines aggressively is that you are going to need to go for the berries early. Um, as well as for the gold, which means you're going to need units. Uh, a second TC is nice, but it's going to make things a lot more difficult in terms of defending. Um, whereas if you're going for berries out on the map, yes, these are going to be exposed, but you're going to actually have more units because by gathering these berries, you're getting free mercenaries, right? As well as you're actually saving a lot of res by gathering berries because you're getting free units, right? So the two main variations of playing Byzantines aggressively is going just for like an all-in with uh, rounds and child siphons, or playing more pressure, um, that being still javelin and, and uh, spearman, but pivoting towards more of a cast or age rush, um, and then going for the relics and playing uh, from there. Right, anyway, so you start immediately with all your food villagers should be on berries, obviously. Right? And when you get second age, Barak's is standard because they walk so well with the javelins, right? Um, even if your opponent necessarily doesn't go horsemen, but I am playing against French, so that's a given. However, you also want to start with a lot of people on wood because you need your box and your mercenary health immediately, or not immediately, but as fast as possible, right? Because those are the main two units that, the only two units really, um, that you're going to be using to get from Fueler to Castle or just to all in. And I go with Wheelbarrow as well as World Culture here and um, Double Broad Axe because, first of all, if you are going for that very, very all in play, um, Double Broad Axe is pretty crucial because you're going to be building rams, right? As well as Wheelbarrow is very helpful when gathering berries just in general because you're going to be walking a fair distance, especially for the back ones. And horror culture, obviously, if you're getting exclusively berries and then eventually sheep, um, you're buffing all of your food income. So, Marino decides to go for a second TC in this game, which which gives me the option to all in. Um, otherwise, if we were both playing one TC, I'd likely pivot into that more of a caster age play here. Which would just mean rest on wood, more on gold, and continued berry gathering for the, those mercenaries. I probably could still do the walls here just because it allows me to get these berries uh, so easily. Okay. 
When you first mercenary batch moves out, especially if they're going for this uh, eco greed, you can push a little bit with this. However, if they are going for um, ONTC or all on play as well, you want to be a little bit careful with that. Yeah, so playing Byzantine aggressively. I relies on you gathering berries, right? And they kind of work in tandem. To get the berries on the map, you need to have all the units. And then to have all the units, you need to be getting the berries, right? So um, it's important that you do both for this build. It's like the most important thing. And you can see most of my my villagers are, are on food because Grimatane obviously extremely food heavy and then the javans come from the berries. Like again this isn't anything like too difficult this is just like Byzantine but um Like, I think that it's important to know, like, why you're doing this, right? And for Byzantine, it's just very... It just makes a lot of sense in which you save so much res through, through the gathering of the berries and getting the free units that allows you to, you know, get these already upgrades, get these rams and stuff, and still have all the units on the field. Or maybe get the units to play defensively and get a really, really fast cast rage timing. Yeah, so I'm going to speed this up a bit because the aggression is just me continuing to make these two units, right? But you'll see in a second here, I actually do decide to, to pivot towards Castle Rage here. Because, like, if I do get Castle Rage, the game is just over, right? I'm going to get quick upgrades, especially with that recent buff on the, the Veteran Contract. As well as access to Vanguard Guards. And... You can see I've taken a decent bit off of wood. All I really need to do is spend stuff on spearmen as well as other rams. And I put in a lot on gold here. But those upgrades, especially. And notice that we have actually kind of dried up on the berries here. So my mercenary production is going to be um, kind of exhausted, right? Like I don't have any other source of. All of income except for this one farm and then soon the soon the relics and it's actually a really good timing to hit because your fuel aggression is going to be slowed down anyway right like once you don't get those free units uh you won't have access to javan so you can spend more on on Drangan here and i start to go for the deer uh just to to fund this stuff because I'm, I'm essentially all in at this point yeah so I mean this game ends here but I think yeah I think it's quite a a fun way to play Byzantines aggressively and it, it makes a lot of sense to be honest and I'm gonna take another look we create another game, actually a, a puppy paw game. Um, I hope he doesn't mind, but it is a tournament game, so doesn't have a choice. But he plays the more um, aggressive Byzantine style as well, but he pivots to that castle age a little bit earlier than I do. And that's primarily because I think his opponent was going. Can I not see it? Oh no, this one, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's primary because his opponent was going for a rage as well, um, instead of a second TC. I, I think, at least, that's why he would do that. So those are just some general rules to fall by if you do want to play Byzantine aggressive, right? Which is <laughs> what I'm trying to get to help you to uh, adopt this a little bit easier. But obviously, you know, play it how you feel um, once you get the handle of it a little bit more. 
So Poppy Pod doing the same build as me. He got a 10 wood to start for this one farm. Who's actually has a wood a bit less on the liner here. That's an interesting build. Not something I've done, but it still gets an extremely well not extremely fast. It's, so I guess the purpose here is just to get that tower up to defend the berries instead of having to build spearmen immediately. Anyway, he pulls the same thing, right? Uh, two systems, javelin plus the spearman here. A lot of uh, pressure, but in instead, he's putting a lot on gold immediately. Whereas I, during my game, had six, eight villages on wood to get that blacksmith out to get those rams out or upgrades into rams. He's going for the immediate gold. Still zero on sheep, right? So that's good to follow. He doesn't even have a. Uh, the first batch of javelins out yet, but it doesn't really matter. Because his opponent is going for a castle rush here as well. And you can see he's actually being aggressive. Like, this isn't just like Castle Rage, uh, you know, doing nothing kind of thing, right? Like, this is aggressive byzantines as well and yes anotan went for that the, those plus eight villagers from the eco wing from our bits and that might make the eco look bad but you're just getting free units right which in my opinion is just better right because you're not actually evaporating resources on the map you're just getting these other thin air um, which means you can take the the sheep and all that kind of stuff anyway and he's going for the berries Obviously, after the Grand Winery is exhausted here. And because, um, obviously, Poppy Paw is getting free units, he's also able to apply that pressure. And you can see he has 12 javelins with another batch coming, which is just so many units. And he's already quite far ahead. Like, Killed four villagers, still has the Golden Horn Tower producing. Um, and also has that all warrior income. Like, also at this stage in the game, you can decide to play more aggressive. Um, obviously you're going to be going for the rocks immediately, if uh, you remember to. But you can also decide to either play more aggressive, or you can go for that second TC and just decide to scale your economy more. But you really have a lot of options as Byzantine here. Anyway guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this guide. Uh, definitely a little bit more short form, more to the point, but... Um, overall, like, hopefully it helps, and I think it's a really cool way to put Byzantine. So, peace out guys. Catch you on the next one.